Hi folks, uh, Monday morning, still very dry atmosphere. So I've given this a good soaking, this paper. This is a Fabriano, the cheaper studio quality. I'll put a bit of raw sienna, as usual. Just unifies the picture and gives a, a nice colour or very light cloud colour when it dries behind what we do for the clouds. It's very faint so if it doesn't show it, uh, that's why. I might put a bit of, bit of, yeah, let's put a bit of light red in there. Why not? I usually put a bit of water in my paintings. So when you do your foreground, just, just add the colour that you're putting in the sky. That's coming up quite strong. Right, okay. Bit of blue. Poking through some cloud. Okay, now we'll add a bit of light red to that. That's my usual cloud colour. Don't be too stingy with the paint. See what happens to that. That's a, put in a bit of bit of that colour in the foreground. Okay, we can have a little bit. Do we want to put any more in there? Some. Be interesting to see how this. Turns out. Okay, we'll reclip the paper. Put it tight. So just, just uh, the board's about 25 degrees. Just take off the bottom. Where it pulls at the bottom of your page, just take that off. Then it won't sort of cauliflower back. Oh, oh dear. Right, let's uh, let's put in a bit of big bit of background in this one. Uh, There's a bit of background sort of landscape in the background. Now this could be hills, trees, anything you like. Now I have a tendency to go uphill 
as I go from left to right. That's not too bad. So I will uh, bring a little bit on the top here. Right, okay, now where should we go from here? Uh, well, let's put in some, uh, excuse me, a bit of umber and a bit of, bit of blue. This is much thicker pigment here. Sienna. I know I've done this so many times before, but but all the the paintings end up differently. Oh, there's only so many views that you can recycle. Oh, just put in some Burnt sienna, I think I prefer burnt sienna to the umber. So we're still going uphill. Try to give a sort of a, a rippled reflection. Still going uphill.
Well, we've got a nice background now. Let's just see if we can just thicken up this here. Get this coming down further so that it's, it's horizontal rather than going up on the right. Right, I can put some uh, scrapings in there. That. Try to create this side the impression of sort of salt marsh, which I love painting. The, the, I, I'm very impressed with the River Colne uh, near Wivenhoe, where my brother in law lives. It's so beautiful when the tide's out. You've got the grasses with the water in between. And we'll have some darker. So a bit of green. Right, now I want a good uh, green like I did on the June painting. Uh, I like that actually. I need to just clean out some some uh, clear water. I don't know. I don't know. I think I've probably gone a bit too too high with that. That one, let's just let's just muck about with it. A bit of uh, pains. I'm on the verge of scrapping this because I've gone I've gone too too far down with the reflections there. So we just have sort of a flooded area and the darks in there.
I don't know, this could be flooded landscape. All right, well, let's see what we can do with the card. I point out so many times that I start with very little in my head, quite normal. And as I go along, the painting develops, it either goes well or it doesn't. Just lose some of that. Put some refreshing in there now. It's sort of an impression of a flood, doesn't it? Let's uh, just uh, put a put an old mount on it. I think the sky is quite interesting. Usual apology for the state of this uh, mount. Ah! Yeah, well, we've created something. What I'll do is to just dry it off. I'm going to find my head. Oh, yeah. And add a bit of detail with this uh, Caron Dash crayon. Oh, Smoothie77 sent me that a couple of years ago, along with some, ho some homemade watercolours which are very good I've lost the contrast there 
but if I just I can probably take a bit of that out and make that highlight cheating this really but it's probably not dry enough yet just some chunks on the dark bits light some of that down there see if we can increase the contrast I'm not recommending this, I'm just using it as a bit of a crutch for myself. Well, I'll put a signature, I quite, I'm, well I quite like it. I, I would say it was uh, my uh, best, but uh, I better put a bird in, otherwise somebody will say, where's the bird? Okay, uh, so what have we got here? Um, the sky, the sky's gone quite well. It's, it's complicated in that there's a, quite a bit going on in it. And I was making use of the angle of the paper, which is quite shallow. Not as shallow as I'd like, but I, I'm sort of trialling this. But the paper, it's the, the Fabriano 130 pound studio paper which is very good for wetting wet but it's got to be the paper's got to be the right wetness before you start i've given that quite a lot of soaking and let it soak in a little bit because it is very dry so that it would wouldn't go into cauliflowers when i worked it well you can see there are no cauliflowers there so that's worked to that extent so we'll describe this as being a tutorial in wetting wet on a on a hot day <laughs> right okay thanks for thanks for watching guys i've just uh i can just um i want to see you see the right i'm just i've got a sort of so I think the picture is okay in the quality. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. It's far from perfect, I have to say. This is, as I always often describe it, as a debris of struggle. I went wrong with the reflections of these, so I've developed it into a flooded landscape. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.